Okay, here's another question. It's really good. Sometimes people say, okay, when you empty this valence energy level out, okay, so there are no more electrons in it, it's not a valence energy level anymore, and they say, what happens to it? Okay, like in this diagram, I just kind of pull it off the atom like this and say we don't have to worry about it anymore. And people say, okay, where does this valence energy level go, the old one? Where does it go? How does an atom get rid of it? And where does an atom put it? Okay, this is a great question. And it requires that we kind of change the way we think about these energy levels. Okay, the way I've drawn the energy levels here, I think it would be really easy to think of them like plastic rings that have little cups that hold the electrons. Okay, but that's not actually what they are. Unlike how I'm drawing it here, an energy level isn't actually a physical thing that you could find in an atom. Okay? The energy level is more just there because electrons are in it, and when the electrons leave, it just doesn't exist anymore. Okay? Let me give you an analogy that might help you understand this. Okay? I think that electron levels, energy levels, are a little bit like parking on the grass, parking in a big grass field with your car. Okay, let's imagine there's a concert or something and people are parking in a field. And here's a diagram of how people are parking. Okay, the grass goes here, so there are only two cars that can fit here. Eight can fit here and eight can fit here. We're looking at these cars from the top down. So we have three rows here and they can hold different numbers of cars. Now, at the end of the concert, people start to leave. And just the way the cars are parked, they first have to start leaving from this top row. So some of them leave and then some more of them leave, and then some more of them leave. And now this row just doesn't exist anymore. Okay? It's not like there were little holes that each car had to park in. And it's not like after these cars leave, workers have to come over and like pick something up out of the ground that held these cars in place. Okay? It's just like the row was there because the cars were there, all right? When the cars parked in a row, they made that row. And then when they left, the row just was gone. It wasn't there anymore. So that's how it is with these energy levels, that they're there just like the rows of the parked cars in a big grass field that doesn't have any parking spots, okay? As soon as they leave, so as soon as this one leaves, this row just isn't there anymore. It's like having the last car from this row in the field leave, and then this, this row is gone. And so then we move down to this row. So I realize this is a little bit tricky because I often draw energy levels like this with the holes, but I'm just doing this so that you can know how many electrons can fit in each of the energy levels. But really, they're not physical things that hold the electrons. They're much more like parking cars in a big field of grass that doesn't have any marked parking spaces. As soon as the cars are gone, the row that they were part of is gone too.